The following video asks us to factor the quadratics. When we're factoring quadratics, um, we're going to use the uh, tri trial and error method, the guess and check method, maybe the way you do it. Um, I think it's the best way to, to learn how to do it because it works all the time and it, it helps you to understand it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to find the x, 2x squared. Well, that's going to be 2x times x. Uh, that gives you the 2x squared. And the, the second thing you always do is how do you find the last term? Well, in case 3, well, you only got one option, 1 plus 3. Now, the question is where are you going to put them in there? So I put the, just 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. So we test to see if it's correct. Well, 2x times 3 is 6x. 1 times x is 1x. That equals 7x. But that's not what we needed. We needed 5x. So we really only have one other option, and that is to move the 3 and the 1 to interchange them. And so now we test it, and we get 3 times x is 3x. 2x times 1 is 2x. And that gives us our needed 5x for that middle term. So our solution is 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. Because 2x times x is the 2x squared. We showed the 5x, and then 3 times 1 is 3. The second one, 3x uh, squared, is the first thing we need to try to find. Well, again, um, even though it's not uh, quite as easy, we still know that it has to be 3x times x. And so our first thing we're going to do is 3x times x. And then we've got to do 20 times 1 and 5 times 4 and 2 times 10. So we're going to do the 3x times x. Now, the second thing, we always want to pay attention to the signs also. Since we have a negative sign, that means one of our has to be positive and one negative. And that may not be right in the right order. We're just putting those in there. We may have to change them. So the first thing, I always like to try the two that are closest together, 5 and 4. I, I just always, that's always where I start. Uh, and usually works out pretty well for me. So I'm going to put the 4 and the 5 in. Well, 4 times x is 4x. 5 times, negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x. Well, that equals a negative 11x. And that's not what we wanted. So we got to try something else. So usually before I go on to two more numbers, I go ahead and switch the 4 and the 5. So 3x times 5 and x minus 4. So I just switched the interchange to 5 and the 4. Now I test that. That gives me a positive 5x. And then 3 times negative uh, 4 gives me negative 12x, which is a negative 7x. So we have the, the 7, exactly what we are um, looking for. And so uh, we know that's our answer, 3x plus 5 times x minus 4. If we'd have got a positive 7x, then we could have gone ahead and switched the signs and got the answer also. So the answer is 3x 